Health equity is ensuring that everyone has a chance to be as healthy as possible and also ensuring that everyone has a fair opportunity to reach their health potential. The life expectancy gap between North Tulsa and South Tulsa right now is 10.7 years. And so that still means that people in North Tulsa are dying 10.7 years earlier than residents living in South Tulsa. So that's not acceptable. Uh, but when we look at health outcomes across the board, what we're finding is that minority populations in Tulsa tend to die earlier than individuals that are white. And so why is that happening? So that's a grave concern. When we talk about the built environment, I mean, and we encourage people to exercise uh, in their own neighborhood, but in some of the neighborhoods that are in the poor com communities, there are not sidewalks. The sidewalks don't, con if there are sidewalks, the sidewalks don't connect to anything. And so those are major issues. And so how do we resolve issues where you don't have to move to a new area in order to have equal access to sidewalks and trails and schools and parks, but in existing neighborhoods, those things can be addressed. And so those are um, barriers that prevent people from having all of the resources that they need in order to be successful. Like any other marginalized group, LGBTQ plus people um, experience housing discrimination, um, experience lack of access to housing in and of itself, um, are more likely to um, be pushed into addiction um, and into uh, crimes of survival. Um, and above all that are, um, you know, we're in this time where people are talking about police violence and state sanctioned violence. LGBTQ plus people are predisposed to those other forms of violence, particularly black and brown and LGBTQ plus people. In my experience, this is not true of everyone, but in my experience, the people in my life um, don't necessarily know all the steps that I go through on a daily basis just to walk outside um, and to feel safe in that. Um, and so what I try to do is uh, just to let them in on, on some of the processes um, I go through to receive like healthcare um, and how much that costs and how insurance companies can sometimes not pay for things because they don't feel like it. Um, and just let them know about that because I, I honestly think it's mostly a problem of just not knowing rather than being malicious. Equity in housing, um, at its most basic level, housing is a human right. And so everybody should have access to decent, safe, and sanitary housing. But beyond that, uh, people should have the opportunity to invest in housing and have those investments valued and appreciated in the same way, regardless of where they live in the city. Tulsa is just like any other city in the United States. We were um, the we experienced redlining in the 20s all the way up through the 40s. And what redlining is, is it's a federal policy that's no longer on the books, but basically banks and the Federal Housing Administration, which was the precursor to HUD, um, would take a map and they would color in parts of it in red and yellow. And if you think of that in terms of like a stoplight, they were saying to bankers, investors, developers, anywhere that it's red or it's yellow, don't um, fund the development of housing there. Don't give people bank loans. Don't build new housing there. And of course, um, what we saw is that was very um, racist in the way that it was divided. And those were specifically communities of color. And in some parts of the country, it was also um, communities where you had large Jewish populations. So the affordable housing strategy is a citywide strategy. Um, you can find it on cityoftulsa.org slash housing. And one of the core values of that strategy is equitable housing investment. And so what that means is that those neighborhoods that have been improperly denied capital investment and home improvement for so long um, due to sort of the after effects of redlining, we, that's where we're going to start and that's where we're going to invest. And so um, part of what the strategy lays out is that our federal dollars from HUD are going to be targeted towards neighborhoods who've been deprived of that investment in the past in a really um, targeted way. And we also want to not just um, 
essentially put dollars towards neighborhoods, but also build capacity. And so we have a lot of talented Tulsans that want to redevelop and revitalize their own neighborhoods and not have to wait for someone else to come in who might not know all the natural treasures and assets that those neighborhoods hold. And so we launched the Build Tulsa Academy with close to 60 members. That's really about building development capacity and um, really demystifying the grants application process for Tolson's living in neighborhoods that have been directly impacted by things like redlining in the past. And so if you go to that housing strategy, there's a bunch more to it, but those are kind of two really intentional ways we are going to reverse this trend of, um, you know, the past choices made by redlining and just sort of the after effects that it has had.